what's up? Being, being from Racine, bro, you know, like only people from Racine know, like, um, when when people do something, like, we we pinned against, like, pinned against each other, you know, always feeling like we're in competition. What do you think will be, uh, like, what can we do to better that in our community? Support each other, man. Jeez. I mean, and it gotta be, it gotta be real genuine support. Like it can't be no phony, fake shit. Like this shit right. gotta be, like it gotta come from the heart. Like, you know, and I, I reach out to everybody who got their own little clothes line and, and try to support them and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Whether they support me or not, cause I'm still gonna grind. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we can, we can make, everything better if we all just come together and just you know what i'm saying and support one another like it's enough money for everybody out here so should nobody be hating on the next person the next person or them because even when you know what i'm saying people put their stuff out you know what i'm saying i'm bigging them up so it should always be like that okay back at it again with another one this is Cloth Talk. Yeah, you know who we got to build. We got the living loaded legend himself. The legend. Okay. Yeah, Talk to him. It's your boy Godfrey Living Loaded. Today I got my boy CP Chris Price here from DJ. Greens goals and accomplishments, man. Okay. Won't you tell the people about yourself? Tell them about the brand. Let's get straight into it, man. Oh uh, man, uh you know, dreams, goals, and confidence. It explains itself, man. It's self-explanatory. You know, like hey, uh, Chris. Before you, you know, even jump into it, for our new listeners out there who don't know what cloth talk, is, cloth talk is a segment that feature designers and all over. You know what I'm saying? We got my boy Gosh, you know, for Living Loaded, which stands for Living Off a Dream. Everyone doubt it. In case y'all ain't know. And uh, you know what I'm saying? And we featuring the boy Chris Price today. So. Cloth Talk, we all we we always try to reach out to designers, artists, anybody who, you know what I'm saying, want to promote their brand, promote themselves. So, uh, you know what I'm saying, we do it right here on Cloth Talk. Now go crazy, Chris, my bad. Oh, uh, man, it's cool, but shit. Uh, dreams goes to counseling, man. It, it explained itself, man. Like, my my whole thing behind this was just basically, you know, uh, I came up with it probably like um, 2012, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, uh. As time went on, I was just like, you know, at first I wanted to do a little basketball team, like a little AAU team, because I felt like, you know, it's a way to get to the U. And then, you know, I just ended up going through with the clothes and stuff and just came up with a bunch of different designs. Uh, his dream goes to Conference Unlimited, which means like with the shirt, let's say the abbreviation of Unlimited. I mean, you chase your dreams, man, with no limits, man. You know, accomplish all your goals, don't have no, nothing to stop you. Hey, you you kind of just explained that right there, bro, because you said you was, you wanted to work with the youth as far as sports and stuff, but that yeah. ended up transitioning you into, you know what I'm saying, creating your own clothing brand. You ain't, you know what I'm saying, hold yourself in no limit. That's what's up, bro. Uh, so, you know, uh, but d during this pandemic, you know, it, uh, it kind of, I took a little loss, you know, because of my manufacturer, they shut down in Virginia and all that. So I took a little loss during this pandemic, but I'm getting it back up and running. So, you know. Everything so, we, we just been working. So with losses like that, because we all we all have losses like that, man. Um, what motivates you to get back in the game to go even harder than that, bro? Man, I'm a hustler, man. I'm a hustler. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a hustler, man. Yeah. I mean, like you know, just just coming from where I come from, off the south side of Racine, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, you see a lot of stuff over there, you know what I'm saying? And as you know, growing up over there too, I mean, you see a lot of people who who got it who lose it, who get it back. And you know what I'm saying? I was one of those just, I ain't finna let nothing stop me or stop my hustle. Okay. So. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. Being, being from Racine, bro, you know, like only people from Racine know, like um, when when people do something, like we we pinned against, like pinned against each other, you know, always feeling like we in competition. What do you think will be uh like, what can we do to better that in our community? Support each other, man. Jeez. I mean, and it gotta be it gotta be real genuine support. Like it can't be no phony, fake shit. Like this right. shit gotta be. Like, it gotta come from the heart. Like you know, and I, I reach out to everybody who got their own little clothing line and, and try to support them and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Whether they support me or not, because I'm still gonna grind. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we can we can make everything better if we all just come together and just, you know what I'm saying, and support one another. Like, it's enough money for everybody out here. 
So should nobody be hating on the next person, the next person, or them? Because even when you know what I'm saying people put their stuff out, you know what I'm saying I'm bigging them up. So it should always it, be like that. It seemed like us as brothers always, you know what I'm saying. We 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 we're harder on one another. We harder yeah. on one another, man. Like and, and that, it is definitely sometimes it could deter somebody from their passion or something that they you know what I'm saying uh, really really want to do. Uh, but we we can't we can't continue to be down on one another, man. We we got to help each other. We got to empower each other. And like bro saying, support support goes so far, bro. And we can see we can see if you're transparent or not, bro. Like for real, like if you're yeah. just doing it just because you want something back in return, like I get it, like I get, you know, with every relationship, like you, you want to take something from someone, like regardless of yeah. what relationship you in, you in, you want some kind of substance from being around an individual. Like, don't just come to me and think you gonna like, you think the church is something just so I can feel good. No, you're not just like, yeah. that's, that's not support just because you think, you buying it for, for my sake. You're like, that's not support, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, man. And even even seeing, not to cut you off, but even seeing Godfrey, man, I watched Godfrey, like, real life grind to get to where he at right now. You know what I'm saying? With his clothing line, when he started it and everything. Like, from when he first started it to right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I watched I watch that man grind, like, and I, I big him up on that. That's right. That's just how we supposed to do it, man. And, and then honestly, like, me knowing Godfrey these last few years, <laughs> And I mean, this last year, excuse me, and and him being a part of Put You On Notice podcast, he has always tried to influence his community, bro. Like, I think oh, most the definitely. biggest thing that I have noticed from Godfrey, bro, he always like, hey, bro, I got this, I got this guy from Racine too. He out here in the meal right now, in case y'all don't know. <laughs> he like, hey, I got, I got my boy out in, in Racine. He got this design. I got my boy out here doing this too. Like, so I, I, I definitely appreciate Godfrey for that. That's definitely love. Oh, most definitely. Hey, man, look, y'all didn't big me up. <laughs> I did have another question for my boy Chris, man, because um, <clears throat> there is a lot, of, a lot of new brands emerging right now, bro. Mm -hmm. So uh, what advice would you give, like, a new brand, in, especially in the city right now? Like? Man, uh, the advice I got for, for anybody who's starting their brand, just stay focused. Stay focused and just continue to grind and put everything that you trying to do, like put it, write it down, like write everything down. Cause man, in the beginning, you're going to take a lot of losses. When you first start up, you're going to take a lot of losses before you start the game. Yeah. And if you, you got to be able to maintain as you're taking losses. So, you know, all I got to say is just stay focused, man. Stay focused and just know what you're doing. You got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. Man. Hey, do y'all feel like, you know, the uh, clothing game, like people creating their own brand and stuff has really taken off. Entrepreneurship has really taken off over the last few years, man. Like y'all feel like it's really been taking off like that in Racine as well? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. It's, it's a lot of people coming up with different creative shit too. So it's it like, even with my stuff, it's, it's like, it's support, you know, I, mean, I ain't gonna say that because I don't want nobody to get offended by that. But it's support that 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 wave too. So you know. I, and what he's trying to say is that it support Black Lives Matter. I don't care what anybody <laughs> got to say about it. You know what I'm saying? Black lives do that matter too. because we saying it. It's not that we's not saying white lives don't matter. Okay, so get that in yeah. real quick. No, nah, but you know it's, it's it's support that community, man. So you know. I, I, Got the little color wave for it. That it support that that community, man. So you know, it's try to try to just not be in one spot. You know what I'm saying? Really? With you, the way stuff is, because people be, you know, I I talk to a couple people about like clothing lines and how they do their stuff and whatever, and people be, you know, that's too colorful. You know, like you got to do something to reach out to the community because you want your stuff to sell, man. So, I mean, if you could touch any and everybody. I mean, right, right. And, and you said you just said so you you're not gonna say, but you don't have to say, bro, because you're wearing it. And this is why yeah. you'll say cloth talk is so important because what you wear really identifies who you are as an individual. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I'm always fine, uh, rocking my boy stuff, you know, rocking my stuff like Pion Loaded. This is this a collab creation right here, and that's what y'all gotta realize. We don't have to always be against one another. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like not. That, that support, that collab, that unity, that's going to go further than anything. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. 
You you can't you can't win a war by yourself, G. <laughs> and and one thing I learned on this journey, bro, like <clears throat> I have I, I gotta always stay curious. Most definitely can't, man. Different avenues I can, bro. I wanna go down all the avenues I can possibly can, bro. And I'm staying curious. How I do this, how I do that, different processes on making different clothes and patterns and designs like that, bro. Like I I just you just gotta stay curious, bro. Right, right. Yeah. Most definitely. That's what I be doing too, man. I, I try to explore everything, like to figure out what's this or even like the stuff that I watch. Like I follow like a lot of black owned uh business on my business page. Like a lot of black owned clothing lines, like from like I, I reach out to people, like I reach out to uh it's a uh what is her uh she got a clothing line from New Orleans, her her stuff called Kid Dope. She got some some dope yeah, shit. Like, like, okay. Like they got the shoes and everything. Yeah, like I, I reached out to her, like reach out to her, like so everybody like I just reach out and just try to get the game from everybody else who already been doing it. So right. I reach out and have a conversation with those people, like so I be learning different stuff. Like like I said, if we don't we don't support each other then Right. I mean get hey, you gotta you gotta help educate one another. You say you reaching out to people, you trying to get educated on some stuff you don't know, man. I definitely honor that, bro, because I'm always reaching out people to people as well for stuff that I need help in and stuff that I don't know. And that's big. Don't ever be afraid to ask somebody, hey, yeah. hey, bruh, can you help me out? <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say? Uh, I, I'm not sure if you already said this, but what would you say has been the hardest uh, part about having your own business? Man, the hardest part is just you got to, like, the hardest part is being your own boss. Yeah. That's the hardest part so, in itself. Like everybody think that that title is cool to be right. your own boss, but being your own boss is stressful as hell, man. <laughs> you have to stay disciplined. You know what I'm saying? You have to stay disciplined. So it's not like you know how everybody wanna say, like, oh, I want to work for myself so I can do this. Like it ain't no laying around and just I be on my laptop, I'd be on my phone all day, every day, just doing everything that I possibly can. Like connecting it like with different people like just seeing like different designs and all of that shit like finding out different graphic design like all of that so right i mean i just stay stay with the heart that's the hardest part to me like just being your own boss and have to do all of that shit by yourself like you know what i'm saying like so what's your favorite part my favorite part is watching people rock this shit man that's, the, that's, that's my favorite part man Back. Man, that's that's. Hey, like, when, you when you see somebody get a post and they got like thousands <laughs> of likes, like where you get that shirt from? Yeah. yeah, that's my favorite part, man. Seeing somebody just rock that shit and just be knowing, like, you know, what I'm saying that's my shit. Right. Like, I mean, and then even like even my basketball stuff ain't go as planned because I thought I was that was my dream to go to the NBA. It didn't go as planned, so I really didn't know what I was out for. You know, what I'm saying I was running the streets and doing all type of shit, and you know, but. To see my mama smile, that's like that's that's the the greatest part of this whole little thing, man. Like see my mama smile when she sees somebody got my stuff on. Right, right. Making her proud, bro. That's love for real, for real. Yeah. All right, man. Hey, let us know what we can find your merch at G. Oh uh, man, uh you can find me on DJ Unlimited Clothing on uh Instagram. Got the website coming soon, man. We working, we putting all this work in, we finna do a lot more shit next year with well, this okay. fall coming into next year doing to all of this extra stuff that done going on in the world man so we're gonna just turn it up man hey stay positive man keep your head above water bro and uh keep grinding man it seems like you're doing your thing out there in racing continue to put the city on the map man most definitely man y'all y'all put me back in here one day man we get it on here man Hey, hey, hopefully next time we in here, we in the studio, we we actually, you know what we need to do is get this fashion show going whenever this whole COVID yeah. over with. We Pion gonna go ahead and host the fashion show with, with everybody that we've been featuring on Cloth Talk. We just go ahead and go, go crazy. Yeah, I, I, oh, I you might as well do the virtual way, bro. Have that oh, you want to do a virtual fashion show? Virtual fashion show. <laughs> that way is no restrictions. We gonna make it happen, even if it can't happen. You feel me? Y'all just heard it first, cause I ain't know. I ain't know hey. guys want to do a virtual yeah. fashion show. That's gonna be that's gonna be the first we one ever. Too. Lit, man. <laughs> hey, hey, we might as well get it cracking then. Yeah, man, I'm most definitely down with it, man. Hey, hey, you right. got, hey, before you go, man, you got a little sneak peek for us. You got something you're working on? You want to show us real uh -oh. quick? 
Uh-oh. <laughs> I ain't got... <laughs> hey, hey, but I'm gonna let you know. All right. Okay. I got some heat coming. I ain't okay. Gonna be... I got some, uh, I got like, you know, like I said, like with, during the pandemic, a lot of stuff had stopped because I had like baseball jerseys and stuff that was coming in. But, you know, it's gonna take off, man. You know, we're still grinding. I got some new stuff in the drop. I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing for those sneak. I got masks and all of that shit now, but okay. you know, that shit just and I'm letting them go for the little five dollars for the, you know, I don't I don't no, charge. Okay. Yeah, hey man, know. go crazy, bro, man. Keep doing your thing. Drop your social media once more for the people. BJ Unlimited Clothing, man, on Instagram. I mean, uh if you can't find it on Instagram, you can find me at uh What's my name on it's called Instagram? Hella Bands, <laughs> 17 <laughs> on Snapchat. Uh, my my original Instagram is Band Up 17, so they can find me on there if they can't find me. DJ Clothing, but it's all up in the bio. So you know what I'm saying? Y'all can find me like that. Hey. DM, DM the purchase crazy. to the website, get up and running. Go crazy. We're going to be looking forward to it, and we definitely going to help you share that, man. So whenever you get everything going, don't worry. We got your back, Brody. I appreciate that, man. Much love. Much love, bro.